All right, man. So let us know who you are. Well, my name is Lorenzo, uh, better known as a Z member L underscore the truth, also known as Mr. Kill Money. Um, to share on how I found the movement, a friend of mine, very close friend I grew up with, he sent me the film for my birthday. He said, dude, I want to blow your mind, but I don't know what to get you, so I'll send you this film. And when I saw the link and I saw that the film was about two hours and change, I said, no, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm into a lot of footage. I'm into a lot of information, but I don't have time for this right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that was probably in March. Mm -hmm. By October, the addendum had come out, and I had saw a clip about the Federal Reserve, another friend had sent me the clip. Okay. And when I saw that, I said, wait a minute, that name Zeitgeist looks, looks very familiar. I went back to the birthday gift, and I saw the film, and mm -hmm. it just absolutely blew my mind. I mean, I had to close my laptop and go out for a walk, <laughs> and really just sit down and digest what I just learned. Right. I had spent my entire life, you know, presuming that you know, maybe if we elected the right officials, we could probably see some, you know, some decent change. Mm. Or, or perhaps, you know, if we chose a different way of government, that things would benefit. I never really questioned the, the water that us fish swim in, and that's the monetary system. Mm. And so uh, the film just completely opened my eyes to that. And really just, it's been an idea that I can't seem to uh, find one that will address the issues that, that need to be addressed. Mm. When, you know, as a person who's concerned with social issues and concerned with uh, building a better tomorrow, today. Mm. Okay. Um, as far as uh, what made me join the movement, I felt yeah. like there was no question. Uh, just wanting to be a member of society until having to live by these tenets. You know, to, to have uh, the possibility of living in a world where there's no crime, there's no war, there's no corruption, there's no poverty, there's no hunger, there's no disease. To have that uh, just be literally just one choice away, I felt like I had no other choice but to become a part of this and give mm -hmm. everything I have to make this uh, a reality for all peoples. Okay. Uh, in terms of what I would like to see from the movement, I think I, I'm going to echo what every member would like to see and that's just more awareness, more people talking about it. Um, I don't think there's any reason why this isn't the, the, the talk amongst all intellectuals you know, across the world. You know, let's just say we can't reach out to the average population, even at least scientists or scholars, people in colleges, people who are trying to ad address the very issues that the Venus Project addresses and the Zygag movement addresses, they should at least be aware of these ideas at, mm -hmm. at, at minimum. Okay. And so you know, I hope that in the next couple of months we can start building that sort of buzz amongst you know the you know the the uh, into the popular magazines like Popular Mechanics or uh, PhysOrg.com, you know, uh, websites or institutions that want to do the same thing that we want to do, mm -hmm. except they just seem to be missing just one small step in the process. Right. Yeah. And uh, in terms of final thoughts, uh, I hope that whoever's watching this video is inspired to just really be the best that they can be at all times. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you don't see any production from the movement, that just means that you're not doing your job. It's up mm -hmm. to us and only us. This, this is not going to work unless we ourselves become leaders in this. And so I hope that whoever watched this just gets exactly that. Mm -hmm. Go on and let's, let's do this. Let's make this happen. Awesome. All right, man. Thanks.